Hello and welcome. I thought seeing as this is about autumn, I owed you this sound. <laughs> oh, yes. Isn't that just gorgeous? The camera is not picking up on it properly, but there is red in those trees. And it is so pretty getting to start. Found a beautiful puppy. There's the other one's sort of dead looking. <laughs> But this one is gorgeous. And there probably won't be many more this season because it's heading into winter now. So clearly this is a new format I'm trying and filming not my thing. But I thought it'd be cool to show you like the full process and how I got inspired to create this piece. Doesn't the sun look awesome? It's like creating little coloured specks. This is the way the camera's working with it. I love it when that happens. It's beautiful. I'm going to have so much material for practising painting clouds after this. Isn't that just picture perfect? Was a little in, I was a little inspired by these reddish bushes mm. to be behind the wall of the painting that I end up doing. And this is what I ended up drawing while I was out. I started by doing some pictures, some uh, drawings of the poppies. When I'm out drawing nature, this is what I did when I went to the botanic gardens in Dublin. I was in the greenhouses and just sketching things with pen straight in, in the, the, these India ink pens because you're getting it down quick and I love the look of it even though they might not be fully accurate because you're not sketching first it's a really cool look so that's what I did those poppies with and then I was doing this this leaf isn't the shape of those leaves so cool they're like little not starbursts they're like little circles like the little like little octopuses but then the leaf just ends up getting lost and covered because I started sketching drawing with pens these trees and then doing throwing some watercolor on top of them to try to capture the colors that were there but to make sure I knew what color the leaves were I brought a little bit home with me and I stuck a little leaf in my phone case isn't that so cute I'd like to tie because when I first did this it looked pretty messy but now I'm sort of liking it and I might try to tie in this drawing I was so happy with this drawing maybe try to tie in the two ideas first order of business was adding line art to this drawing that I was so happy with, this sketch of this girl standing there. And then as I started in the next clip to develop my ideas for the actual painting a bit more, I thought I want this to be an autumn scene. So the girl's got to have a few more clothes on than she did in the previous one. So I tried to figure out some perspective of how the wall would be and figure out the clothes she'd be wearing. I was actually inspired by the clothes I've been wearing that day on the walk for the clothes that she's wearing. And at first, the way I painted in those clothes was more similar to the color scheme. Well, actually pretty much the co colors of the clothes I was wearing that day. But as it goes along, I changed those colors quite a bit to fit in with how the colors in the picture ended up going. Oh yeah, this sunset was so, because the sunset was so pretty. And I love this picture that I got. I mean, it's not a very great photograph, but seeing that light coming through looking pink, I really wanted to incorporate that. So this is the second day I've been working on it and it's going in the right direction. Got that sunset in. When I started doing the sunset, I started thinking, oh no, this looks bad because I had gotten used to looking at it with just the blue sky. But now I'm remembering what I wanted originally. I'm like, yes, that intensity, that sunset, sunset, sunset intensity that I saw that day on the walk. That's the vibe that I want. So I'm gonna carry on working on it tomorrow another day i don't know when looking back on it now after the fact i really preferred how the sky was looking now later on i think i started trying to add some purpley colors to the sky but it really weakened how the sky looks it looks better now than later on it's got real brightness to it but oh well oh i spent so much time on that face I ch it got changed so much i think I was happy with it then and that now I'm about to sort of ruin it. I, I'm not sure, I think maybe now. I just spent so much time on the face. I th right there, that's when I ruined how it had been looking and I had to basically completely rework it. Another thing that I really, I already knew that I really need to work on drawing and painting trees, but this made it even more obvious to me. A reference picture I took of a yellow autumn tree really saved that one and you'll see me in a yeah right there and I repainted in the branches coming up through it you can see the photo there that I took so probably should do some studies of trees 
Well, that went well. It's obviously drying out. These are really old. I got them secondhand from someone. And I'm really glad and grateful that I did. That someone gave me loads of old free acrylic paints. But um, I really need to use them up. Look at that. Oh, you probably won't even be able to see that then. Look at it. So I tried to like start squeezing it and it just popped open. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> it's really funny and cool looking actually. Sort of gross. Um, I'll use it anyway. One of the f my favourite things about this picture is the stone wall and the roughness and the texture of those stones and how there's a lot of darkness underneath them. It really helped when I added in the much darker areas of that tree and that wall. But this picture would have benefited from more planning and practicing each element, but it's probably shown me where I need to work more on things. And probably doing a few more landscapes from reference would help me when I'm doing stuff like this out of my imagination or coming up with a composition myself. So I thought I'd give it one more go. Try to finish it because I've been staring at it and I just want to get it finished and get this video finished and get this video put up. So I don't think I want to go at it for much longer. I'm tired of it. I'm sort of happy to leave it. Like I'm not 100% happy with how it looks, but it'll have to do kind of thing, you know, when we move on to other projects. Maybe I'll pick it up at some point in the future, but this is it for now. I might tidy up this cloud thing, but... And I finally cut off the edge of that refill pad back. You know, like notebooks? I like using the backs of notebooks because they're pretty tough cardboard. They're nice and mid-tone. <laughs> Great to recycle! Also, please comment if you've got any art tips on any of the elements of this painting that I was struggling with. Or if you would like to see it up on my Redbubble as a print or in any products. Because I'm not sure if I'll put it up yet. Actually, one of the trees has like very, is very textured. Very, um, standing out. I really like how that looks. I think I added that after I finished the time lapse. But to like scrape off the slightly dry paint on my palette and use it up. I think it looks sort of cool, like sort of save that tree. But anyway, if you have any tips on any of those elements, like how to draw trees or how to draw faces in acrylic paint, probably going back to that problem that I was telling you about in that old artwork thing with not having as much control and things being very bulky and blobby. Do you have any tips about that? Also, I just finished filling my sketchbook that I started like back in March or something at the beginning of lockdown. So look out for that video. That'll be coming out soon. Um, anyway, it was so nice getting to share this with you and show you this process. And I really hope you enjoyed this and have a great week and see you in the next video. Bye.